Hi, I'm Perry Ashe. I'm the CEO of New South Wales CAG. I'd like to welcome you all to our third um, annual recovery forum. So welcome. Um, before we get started, I'd firstly like, would like to acknowledge the Gadigal people from the Eunora Nation, who are the traditional custodians of this land. I wish to pay my respect to the elders past and present and extend that respect to any Aboriginal people present here today. As many of you will be aware, New South Wales CAG is the independent statewide organisation representing the views of people with a lived experience of <coughs> mental illness at policy level. And we work to achieve and support systemic change. That's like changes at a high level um, for, all, for, um, for all people with um, lived experience of mental illness. Our vision is for all people with lived experience of mental illness to be able to participate meaningfully in society and to experience fair access to quality and recovered focused services which reflect their needs. So this is what this forum is about. It's about trying to get, striving to reach that goal. Sorry, I need to put it up here again, sorry. Um, and our values are inclusiveness, integrity, justice and equity, openness, collaboration and innovation. This is our third recovery forum, as I've said. At our first recovery forum, um, we defined what recovery means to you as consumers and to other people at the forum. Um, and um, we also developed a plan of action to progress recovery oriented service in New South Wales. And from that forum, we um, actually wrote a report and it also informed both our federal election platform and our state election platforms for each of those elections. Now, the second recovery forum in 2010 we discussed and troubleshot some of the barriers to progressing recovery because we recognised that even though um, we had achieved um, recovery being a word, a buzzword in a lot of government policies <coughs> and legislation, um, it still wasn't happening in practice um, to a great degree. And there was a rather confused definitions of what recovery actually means in terms of um, that clinicians often still have a very clinical view of what recovery is. It's like an outcome process rather than a journey. Um, so we troubleshooted some of those things last year. Um, and um, we, that's informed um, at our um, representation in committees. Um, it's informed um, all the submissions we've written since then. And I also presented um, a good hunk of, chunk of that in terms of recovery and risk at the last themes conference in Adelaide in September. And that should be in your package, the, the presentation there. So these, these, these forums, um, at the end of the day, you've, you've shared, we've thought about things, we've troubleshot stuff, we've discussed things, we've all learned something, um, but it doesn't just get, get left there. It actually ends up then informing New South Wales CAG's work for the next year and beyond. Today's forum, we'll be looking at recovery in the context of trauma-informed care. And what we'll probably do annually is actually look at recovery in the context of something. So next year we might look at it in the, covenant, in the context of inclusion or participation or um, employment or, or whatever, but we'll talk to consumers during the year in terms of what um, they, they might like to look at. And the reason we're looking at trauma-informed care this year is because we... Um, this, uh, this is not my slide, this is Mary O'Hagan's slide. Mary O'Hagan spoke at our um, AGM. Can you hear me still? I keep forgetting to lick it like an ice cream. Um, and um, Mary pointed out, um, as we also, in our literature tells us, is that there's a lot of um, things that are mutually reinforcing within trauma-informed care and recovery, recovery principles, um, particularly hope, self-determination over life and choice and participation in services. Um, Trauma-informed care has also um, quite recently been recognised as, as very important in terms of a therapeutic process. And many of you in the room would have experienced trauma and for much of your, your um, adult, maybe even adolescent lives and childhood lives, that's sort of like being brushed aside and, and it's about let's try and make you better or let's um, like deal with the symptoms that are here now, not what happened in the first place. Um, and so a lot of um, consumers um, in, in recent times have actually told us that um, that the trauma and talking about the trauma and dealing with the trauma and acknowledging the trauma is important to them um, and um, that they want to know more about trauma-informed care and how that fits with recovery um, because often too 
not only it's not actually acknowledging and dealing with the, the past traumas, but um, often if that's not known or not acknowledged, what happens is that they go to a service and they get re-traumatised because they have an experience, something triggers in that experience, which is the same, uh, which um, brings on that trauma again. So, um, so yeah, so consumers have asked for this today. So, um, and with the turnout, I think people actually uh, really want to know more about trauma-informed care and how that fits with recovery. Okay. So today's program. As you can see from the program, we have a really packed agenda for today, and it's a really exciting agenda because it um, has a, quite a, different, a lot of different options, um, including this morning you'll be in this room, and this afternoon there'll be workshops, and um, you all got to choose two out of four workshops. So there's different um, ways of actually discussing and facilitating and learning from each other that are happening today. Um, the next thing on the program is um, Dr. Kathy Kleisman, who is from um, oh God, I've um, forgotten the acronym. Um, Australian Survivors of Child Abuse. Oh, well, adults. 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 Uh, yeah, adult survivors of child abuse. <laughs> yep. Um, and um, we'll also be hearing from panel of consumers and service providers who will tell us about their experiences and their names there. The afternoon, as I've said, we've organised a range of different activities and you'll have a chance to participate in two. And if you haven't already registered, please, um, at morning tea time, uh, register in two of those activities so we know um, who's doing what. At one of the workshops, I'll be working with people to discuss what we've learned in the morning and we'll pull our ideas on how we can work together to further influence policy and decision making and set up a plan of action which New South Wales CAG and, and um, you guys can work on with us. Um, Sage Telford, our Policy Engagement Operations Manager, will be working with people to look at the challenges and solutions for implementing trauma-informed care. Um, we also um, are very lucky today, and it's very exciting, to have with us um, some members of Milk Creek Theatre. And Milk Creek Theatre is Australia's leading theatre company dedicated to working with people who have experienced homelessness and marginalisation. Um, they're um, situated in the Matthew Talbot. Uh, Milk Creek Theatre works with actors, community members and services to explore the issues, opinions and life experiences. Today they'll be hosting an interactive workshop where professional actors perform a scenario and then facilitate audience discussion and participation to explore the difference a trauma-informed care would make. Um, and also there will be an um, a opportunity in that workshop for people to get up and um, engage in the role play as well. Um, if we're looking, if you're looking for a change of pace, we also have some Tai Chi happening. Um, Sue Chen will be leading this group and she's a professional Tai Chi trainer. Tai Chi is a technique that can be used to achieve healing and promote physical and mental well-being. And you don't need any prior, um, prior experience and it's suitable for people of all ages and, and abilities. Um, it's not extremely strenuous or, or whatever. So I guess for me, <laughs> the disappointment is that I'll be facilitating one of those workshops so I won't get to go to all the other ones. Um, but all of you have a, um, an opportunity to choose two of those workshops. There's the workshops there, sorry. Okay, we see our annual recovery forum as an opportunity to bring consumers, service providers and decision makers together to discuss and learn from each other. There are no right or wrong answers. You are the experts today. That's why you're here. Um, so I invite you to enjoy the day and um, please um, participate as much or as little as you feel like. Okay.